Hey there! My name is Callista Bass, reporting for Kids First, Age 14, and today we will be taking a look at a movie called The Rack Pack. So, this movie tells the story of three brothers who try to stop a criminal from stealing this underground treasure. So, my first issue is the fact that I had to go onto IMDb and look up a plot synopsis of a movie to even understand what the villain was actually after. It's never explained in the movie what he's actually in what he's actually looking for, and this soured my experience a lot because well, it was because it because you, they don't tell you what the villain's motivation is. You don't really know what the main conflict of the movie is, and that's a serious issue. I felt like the acting in this movie ranged from okay to pretty unbearable, unfortunately. Everyone was either incredibly monotone or really over the top. And what kind of surprised me a little was that it was usually the kids giving the monotone performances and the adults giving the over the top performances. However, I felt like the child acting in this movie was pretty bad. And I understand that they are kids, but I don't feel like that's an excuse. Honestly, if you replace the actors in this movie with other random actors, I don't feel like much would change. It felt like the casting director just talked to, just went up to his neighbors and was like, hey, do you want to be in this movie? And they just responded with sure, even though they had no acting experience. The only actor which who had some kind of like notable experience was C. Thomas Howell, who was in The Outsiders. And even he's not that great. One thing that bothered me a lot with this movie was how much filler there was. I'd say about... 95% of the scenes of this movie are just kids playing outside. Uh, sometimes it cuts back to the main villain, but those scenes don't really have much going on. It's just him talking with one of his lackeys. Nothing really happens in those scenes. Nothing really happens in the scenes with the rack pack. So the climax just ends up coming out of nowhere because it's not built up that well. Now, one thing that kind of confused me a little was that the rack pack actually consisted of more than just the four main characters. It was surprisingly big. Now, I thought this would have some kind of significance in the movie. Of course, they can't characterize every single member of the rack pack, but I figured they'd have some kind of reason for the group being so big. What I thought would happen would be in the middle of the climax, the kids are being chased by the villains, and then the rack pack would appear and have this triumphant moment, but nothing like that ever happened. The, and in fact, the movie just kind of forgets about the other members of the rack pack like halfway through, so it, it begs the question, what was the point of all those scenes? Like, why did you build up this seemingly strong connection with these kids and you're not gonna actually have any, you're not gonna actually have it make any narrative purpose? So I would give this movie one out of five stars and I would recommend it for ages two to eight, but also if you are a big fan of the military, you might like this movie because at the end of the credits it even says it's dedicated to the military, so maybe you'd like it then. So that will be it for this review. If you like it, check out the Kids First website and of course all the other Kids First reviewers. I will see you all next time. Bye bye